What's going on, you guys? Yeah. Everyone grab their pink comforter. I got the worst haircut ever. This is my haircut. Look at that. Oh, and you and then you said Pat Dixon does have a past. He's afraid to veto. His chin is kind of neato. He's ready to beat oh. He is a Guido. He's not a pedo. His name is Ray to beat oh. Problems with his speedo. Oh. He's kind of retardido. He's ready to beat oh. His chin is pretty neato. Oh. That ready to beat oh. Your information he'll repeat oh. That stinky Guido. That's ready to beat oh. What's up? What's going on, you guys? Welcome, Rock Bottom Podcast with Ray DeVito. Uh, joined by my guest today, the lovely Kate Meany. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you, Ray. Nice to see you. Well, don't touch that mic. I don't think that mic's, mic's working, but that's all right. Fuck. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't touch the mic. Don't worry about the microphone. Don't worry about it. Pretend okay. like. Yeah, pretend like it's working. Uh, you look lovely, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, sponsor Silk City Hot Sauce, silkcityhotsauce.com. Put in Rock B, save 15%. Pain in the brain is my hot sauce. It's delicious, I tell you. It's delicious. Uh, Patty Rossborough's trying to join us. She says she's logging in. She's like, do you see me? It's like, no, I do not see you. I keep sending her the link. So if she shows up, great. If not, we'll... we'll uh, We'll we'll do it. We're doing it. All right. I I can be two people at once. Hell yeah, man. I'm I'm two personalities at once. Yes. I can, I, I can do it. Women um, don't know how to work technology, Ray. You say like I have it all. I might be a woman. <laughs> Maybe I identify <laughs> as a woman because I don't have technology. I don't have a lot of things. Uh, you were worried about your hair. Look what I did. I I shaved my head. Oh, I literally, I literally did that, um, an hour ago in, um, uh, in protest of the war, in protest of the war. No, it has nothing to do with the war. Uh, I just got a bad haircut before. So I, I went to go get a cut and the lady's like, Oh no, that's messed up. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll just, she's like, I can't really work around that. So I just I was like, you know what? It's all good. I went home. I shaved my head. <laughs> I went home and did it. Look who's here. Patty Wasboro. Hi, Patty. Wait, I can't hear you though. Oh, I don't have my shit on. Okay. Oh, I can't hear you. Oh. Hear you uh, we hear everything in your house though, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. Somehow I was in, but I could see myself, but I wasn't in. Well, like, you're I'm in sending... now. All right, you're fantastic. In. In. How are you, Ray? I'm good. How are you? Hi, good. Very good. Okay. I had my There's... husband walk me through it. <laughs> Oh, Wait, yeah, you oh, can, yeah. Kevin, you can get off the phone. <laughs> oh, I'm in. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. I forgot he was still on the phone. All right. Sorry. Look at that. So I only know you're only know you because I didn't know you're remarried. Oh yeah. You know, do you know Eric Kornfeld? No, no, but I know the, I mean, I'm friends with Kevin Brennan. I heard you on his podcast. Oh yeah. 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 No, and, I married uh, a great guy who's straight. So everything was straight. Out. All right. He has a sex drive. My whole life is, you know, on the upswing. Kate, did you know like Patty used to have to make out with her ther her therapist because her <laughs> husband wouldn't have sex with her? Yeah, <laughs> that's not why I made out with him. <laughs> Kate, I'm so glad to see you. You look very Kate's very glamorous. She's okay. very glamorous. You know, I told her she looks like um, who did I say? Catherine Deneuve. Remember Catherine? See, okay, my references are all from the 1960s, yeah. but Catherine Deneuve is this great French beauty, and that's who she looks like. Catherine Deneuve? All right. Well, all right. I, Deneuve. I Deneuve. 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 I mean, I don't want to date you, Pat. I mean, I'm not. Um, you can date me. I don't care. I mean, I mean, date me. But I used to watch, uh, Kate, I used to watch uh, Patty when I was in high school. I don't know if it was on MTV for it was Comedy Central, Short Attention Span Theater. It was Short Attention. I was never on MTV. Yeah, Short Attention Span Theater. Okay. And that was on Comedy Central then? 1990. I was pregnant with my daughter. She was born in 91. So that was 1990. I was only there for a year. Oh, you were only there one year? But I remember, it was Short Attention Span Theater was you and Jon Stewart. Yeah. And wow. then I got fired because I got fat when I was pregnant. So that they was- They fired you for being pregnant? Well, they don't say that. 
But when I came back, I was 20 pounds heavier. And also they had told me that the demographic was like college guys and they didn't want some fat mother <laughs> on the show. I mean, I used to weigh like 119 pounds. I was like a skinny girl. And all of a sudden I'm this, you know, I was breastfeeding. My boobs were, it was the whole thing was. And then anyway. a gay guy got you knocked up and fucking ruined a. That's how good I am. Jesus. I got sperm out of a gay man. That's how, that's how uh, devious I am. Not devious, uh, whatever the word is. I don't know. Yeah. You get therapists. That's some sex appeal, man. You get gay dudes to like give you babies and therapists right. to want to make out with you. Exactly. Breaking Back in the day. I mean, laws, you know. What are those hippo laws where they're not allowed to do that type of weird stuff? Uh, yeah, probably today you're not allowed to make out with anybody. And my other one used to This was like, back in the 90s, Kate. You can do whatever. The 80s. The 80s. 80s. Oh, the 80s. My therapy was all in the 80s. And that was all crazy shit. And now right? you got it all figured out. Oh, no worries. No problems at all. <laughs> I mean, I have problems. I should be medicated, right? Kate, I'm, do you I'm go to medicated. therapy or no? I do go to therapy, but mm -hmm. I've been going less. What are you therapy for? Problems. We'll fix you. We'll fix you. <laughs> Tell us what it is. We're gonna fix I, you I right now. To pay my therapist. That's why. <laughs> I think she's keeping me stuck there. <laughs> they do keep you, you in the loop. Yeah. All I am to her is a check, and I feel too guilty to stop seeing her. <laughs> that is exactly what happened to me with Elaine Waldman. I couldn't get away. She was like a bad boyfriend who wouldn't let me go. I go, yes. we have to end this. Nothing is working. This is all horrible. And she'd be like, you're just about to have a breakthrough. You're afraid of your breakthrough. You're <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That's how they get you. I like that. You're afraid of your break. I'm going to use that on my next girlfriend. <laughs> you're afraid of your breakthrough. You're that's afraid. why you're mad at me. You're that, afraid that's of why your you're leaving me. Yeah. And then she'd go, it's not the therapy. It's just because you hate me. You hate me. That's what she would say. So anyway, I feel you, Kate. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Run. Get out while you can. I got All she wanted was my money. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I got to leave Dr. Jen. <laughs> Dr. Jen. Dr. Jen. Dr. Jen, you guys are putting your fucking therapist on blast. Yeah, I, well, I think there's a lot of therapists by the name Dr. Jen. I feel like Dr. Jen is a is like on a, she has like a, sounds like a podcast, right? Yeah, it sounds Dr. like a porn star. <laughs> Dr. Jen. Yeah, <laughs> there's something not right about it. Yeah, Dr. I, Jen. I don't know if you should be using her first name. I had a therapist. You just said her whole name. You just said, you just Elaine said Waldman? whatever. Yeah, Elaine Waldman? No, no, Walton I mean, I don't think. That lives on 1746 Rosewood Drive. Well, she's Drive. dead. I can oh, say it now because no, she's dead. Yeah, well, uh, I, I didn't give Jen's last name, so. <laughs> I had gave a her first name, Dr. and Jen. Dr. and Jen. And there's not a lot of women doctors out there, so. Yeah. Oh, now <laughs> there are. You don't think right, so? Now. I had a doctor called Dr. Doctor. She's also dead. So like every, all my therapists are dead now. So it's like, but I had one called Dr. What's doctor. What's the common denominator? What, they're all dead. I think they, I wore them out. It's like they, or they killed themselves after I left. No, I guess they were just old when I went there and this was the eighties. So if they were old then they're dead now, you know? So. Did you ever do but Dr. Katz? That was a, I like no, that show. That, oh, that was the greatest show. That guy is so funny. I love that show. What well, was easy it, money for them? Because Kate, what they would do, I'm sure your her dad is Kevin Meany. I'm sure you know I, that. Do I know? Of course. Yeah. I work with her at the comic strip. Yeah. She tell him our relationship, our mother daughter relationship. Actually, Henriette Mantel <laughs> wrote this <laughs> mini series um, about my father, where she was married to him, and Patty played my mother in one of the episodes. I was her and, mother. And yeah. you were little then. How old were you? You were like. Then 11. Yeah. She was so cute. She was like a kid. And I was She's still mother. cute. She's still she's a, a kid. What are you Now she's glamorous. About? Now she's, she's like glamorous. a glamorous woman. But I mean, back she then she like was this cute. She looks like Didi Abu, whoever you call her. Who's Catherine Didi Abu? Deneuve. Catherine Deneuve. Catherine yeah. Deneuve. Of course. Same thing. <laughs> um, anyway. But yeah, I had an alcoholic. Uh, and also, Dr. Matt, I won't tell her first name, but Dr. Doctor was an alcoholic. 
and she used to slur her words, but I just thought that was the way she talked. And then years later, I thought oh, that she used slurs. <laughs> like it was the eighties. <laughs> it was the eighties. Well, I don't think That's she liked what gay she people did in the eighties. Like, ah, uh, what are you with one of those fanooks again? What are you doing over here? She, she told me her. when I said I think my husband's gay. She goes, uh, "Oh well, all gay men hate women." Like. <laughs> that's not true. That's like bad advice. I mean, I don't think they hate. I think they don't want to fuck women, but I don't think they hate women. Some do. One, you got one of them, <laughs> and I got the other. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. We both have gay backgrounds. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It do you think at, mom too? She got one to. Uh, yes. Do you? Do how? How old were you when you found out your father was gay, or did he tell you, or what happened? I was eight years old when he told me. He my sat parents, you down? Actually, he was driving a, a car and oh, he God. had his new boyfriend in the car in the front seat. <laughs> no. <laughs> gun. And they were driving. And my dad goes, Well, you know how your mother and I were married? <laughs> and we had a relationship and slept in the same room, which they never did. Oh my god! So now Casey does that with me. Oh, did you understand that meant there's you didn't no way, understand what that no was? That, that, you understood what that was at that age? No way. Like, okay, can I still watch TV when <laughs> we get home? <laughs> when did you figure out what it meant? Like, did you figure it out? Fine. I figured it out because we had this 25 year old man living with us. Oh my God. He lived. Oh God. That's okay. so funny. Okay. Oh my God. That's so funny. I How mean, old were you when you like literally like figured it out in your head? Like, Oh, wait a minute. When he started bringing a younger man around. <laughs> did when you they, like the younger man? Yeah. Sorry. I did. I did like the younger man, but I kept telling my dad from the beginning, this guy is not with you for you. What was he with? You were for? eight. How deep was she? She was eight. <laughs> she said He's that. not with him for you. He's what not was he with him for? He loves your fatness. <laughs> He's with you because he <laughs> sees a comedian with a little bit of money. Um, really? About How old were you when you said this to him? How old were you? Oh, eight years old. You were eight and you said all this for real. Yeah. You knew that much? Wow. You're like the smartest eight year old. Yeah. I mean, Kids are really, you know, can I just, uh, my daughter, Molly, when she was like about that age, I had dated some crazy guy. Well, someone who had been in jail. And then I dated another guy who, uh, <laughs> who was a plumber. Guys in jail. You don't a give plumber, a shit. A plumber who. Like, just put it in me. <laughs> <laughs> a plumber who used to have a TV on top of a TV. You know, those guys. And all his rugs were torn shit, up. I might his, be a plumber. <laughs> his dog had shit all over the carpets and he had a gun by his bed. Anyway, this crazy guy. But my daughter, after I broke up with one of, one of the guys that wasn't good, she was like your age and we're walking across the street and she goes to me, mom, I think instead of a guy like dad, who, you know, who's gay, and then uh, these other guys that are no good for you, this is like, she's, she's holding my hand, we're walking across the street. She goes, maybe you could find someone more in the middle, a nicer, a nice guy. And I just wanted to cry, I'm like, why is my kid smarter than me? Why does my kid see that these guys are no good for me and I couldn't see it until, you know. But anyway, that reminded me of that. Nice. Can I tell you, can I tell Kate something? This is funny. Um, I did a joke when I first, Eric wouldn't let me come out, uh, let me come out about him coming out for the longest time. I had to say, oh, we didn't get along. You know, people go, what happened with you? And, you know, oh, we didn't get along. And who's the girl with the rooster haircut um, who, oh, God, what's her name? She was, used to be fat. Now she's skinny. Do you know? Uh, Lisa Lampanelli. Oh, she okay. goes to me, don't bullshit me. She goes, your husband's half a fag. That's what she said to me. And I go, no, she, she, no, says, he's, but she says everyone's half a half Well, a she fag. says that. So I go, no, Not no, everybody. you're wrong. So I'd be calling up Eric. I go, look, everybody knows. Can I just say? So anyway, when I could finally say it, I, I said it on stage. And uh, I was working with your father at Gotham and he goes to me, he goes, wait a minute. He goes, your husband was gay and he's laughing his ass. And this is before he came out. He's <laughs> laughing his ass off. He goes, tell me, tell me about it. He goes, 
what happened? How did you find out? And I'm telling him I found it. He goes, how did you tell your kids? And I'm telling him how I found my kids, how I found my, how I told my kids. But I always, and he was really grilling me about it. And I kind of felt like he was like getting info on how to come out and do all this. Because then well, he came you, out after that. Thank you for causing my parents to get <laughs> So this is, uh, appreciate you wow. my childhood. <laughs> thank you. Did you think, I'm sorry, Ray, then I'll let but you know. I'm sorry, no, I'm talking Molly, too much. Yeah. No, but Molly, uh, or uh, not Molly. Uh, uh, Kate, Kate, you, oh, okay. Kate uh, <laughs> but yeah, you wanted your dad to come out. If he's gay, let him be gay. No. You get, no, you no? wanted him closeted? Or you just didn't like the guy he was dating? Gay. I would have been fine with him being gay and staying divorced. No, not, not I would have been fine with him You just being didn't like the guy. You just married. Just, no, because a divorce complicates everything. You know, he if you marry a woman and then you have a kid, yeah, you're not allowed to go out and ruin the kid's childhood. You committed to something, wait till I'm 18 and then go live your truth. I so see. That's interesting. Years. Right? That like, is an man, but you know, keep my home life stable to some extent. <laughs> What, was I, he out partying or something with this gay dude all the for time? sure. They were partying everything. Um, uh, my dad was in Hairspray at the time. Lance Bass was in Hairspray at the time. Lance Bass had just come out of the closet. Damn, he had penises <laughs> everywhere. Everyone's coming out of it. It's all fucking Patty's fault. <laughs> Patty talking to all these fucking gay dudes. Like, just fucking come out. You're fucking gay. Be gay. <laughs> but I think it's harder for the child. Like, for me... Okay, I was mad for like five minutes. You you yeah. fucking ruined my life. I hate you. Okay, but then, but I also kind of knew he was he was like bi-ish before I married. So I, I, that's on me, you know? But for kids, it is harder. And I know that my kids had a hard time because they didn't want people to know he was gay. Like that would have been really bad on the bus if people knew their dad was gay. So <laughs> my bad. daughter didn't... Feel good about Daddy's it. Daddy's husband's oh, gay, yeah. and gay, <laughs> gay and gay, gay and gay, gay and gay. Until she went to college, and her roommate's brother was gay, and her best friend Everybody's was gay. gay in college. Everybody's Jesus. gay, but when she was in high school, she didn't know anybody. Practically, whose parents were divorced in the first place. Secondly, the she had this big secret, and then she thought, "Uh oh, is that in the DNA? Maybe I'm going to be gay." Did you ever think that? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would never come out if I was, but <laughs> but maybe it's good women, he came women, out. No, women could be gay and nobody cares. You could still be yeah. straight. Women, yeah. like, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's a big I deal. Have problems interacting with women as is. <laughs> well, apparently, you have problems interacting with your dad's boyfriend. No, him and I got along, but still, I knew that he wasn't with my dad because of my dad. That's so weird. You knew that. But you knew that, that I, 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 Molly, I felt like I had this big secret as well, because when I look back in retrospect, my father came out before Obama was even president. So gay marriage mm -hmm. hadn't been legalized. There was right. a big stigma around it. Yes. We still lived in the don't ask, don't tell era. Right. And it wasn't cool like it is today. It wasn't cool to be gay. Right. Now yeah. people can it's be buying. Not, it's still not cool to be gay. Yeah. Well, I was in the closet with his secret. So right. Like, for coming out of the closet, you just put me in one. <laughs> That's true, oh. though. That's hard. Yeah. Out of one closet, the kid goes in a closet. Yeah, because I, I was in art class one day, you know, drawing with colored pencils. And... The topic of gay came up. We're all eight years old, coloring. And I said, oh, well, my a dad- A lot happened this year. Gay. A lot happened in this calendar year of you being yeah. eight. And so this is the day after he told me in the car with Casey in the car. And one kid goes, oh, your dad can't be gay. That's illegal. Oh. And so then I told my mother that the kid said that. And she said, well, you shouldn't be going around telling people your father's gay. See, that's so, bad. That's yeah. like a secret. But what do you do? Because they are going to attack you for it, you know? Exactly. And then, oh, my father was horrible. I remember I was graduating from the fourth grade 
And my dad thought it would be this great idea to bring his 25 year old boyfriend to the graduation. (laughs) No. Miserable. I was so angry at him. I'm still angry that he did that. It ruined the entire day for me. Like, wow. And he was like, well, are you not okay with me being gay? I said, well, you know, maybe I'm not okay with you dating a man who's closer to my age than he is to yours. Right. Yeah, that's a lot of shit when you're like 10, 12 years old. And to show you like how not into a gaydar I was as a kid, one of my best friends, Paul, I grew up in Lakewood, Ohio. It's like the, it's got a very high gay population, the highest gay population in Cleveland. And my buddy Paul, we would sleep, I'd sleep at his house and it was at a, this place at Carlisle and they had like this giant indoor pool and we like get to go swimming and stuff. So, I mean, I loved it and I never put two and two together that his dad had a roommate and they slept in the same bedroom, oh my which I God. thought was weird because like we would sleep in one bedroom, all the kids or whatever. And then him and, the, and then I, I was literally like 25 one day and I was like, wait a minute. That guy was gay. <laughs> like it dawned on me like that late in life. What like, wait a minute. Or he was just into sucking dick. Yeah, yeah. It's like, wait. Because normally oh. if like two guys are living in the same bedroom and they're over the age of 40, you're like, <laughs> those guys are impoverished. How <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're just comics in New York City. Everybody well, that's the thing. You're yeah. they're either a New York City comic or they're gay. It's one yeah. of the two. You know, my aunt Dodo. And it really is the same thing when you think about it. It kind of is. Really, it really <laughs> does go hand in hand. It's- my aunt Dodo, who was really my aunt Doris, I lived with her for two weeks and she wanted me out of there. When I moved to New York, I was looking for an apartment. You know, I was going to be a big star, right? So I stayed with her. She lived in Brewster, New York, and she had this friend and her friend had a house down the street. But when I was staying there, she and her friend was would say good night and they go upstairs to go to bed and they're in the same bedroom and it's this teeny little bedroom with two little beds and at first i'm thinking oh well maybe they're just she's too old to drive like first of all why do they need two beds they're obviously (laughs) scissoring why are there two beds i was just i'm thinking well why doesn't she drive home like what's going on here and then uh they just she never went home so she has this house and then I thought, okay, maybe they're gay. It was, and I was like, oh my god, my mother's sister's gay, and they were old. Like, I guess lesbians Everyone's can be gay around you. Jesus, oh. why, did, <laughs> why did you talk to and a the- Kate's dad? If you wouldn't have talked to, Kate's I didn't dad, know he was know. asking me how to come out. And my oh, aunt Dodo said, life. she. I found out this is how I knew she was gay. That her girlfriend. Well, you know, we were all sitting together with my mother they, for my wedding. And she was wearing a heart necklace. And I said to her, to her, to this woman who my Aunt Dodo knew, I go, oh, I love your necklace. It's a beautiful heart. And she goes, oh, yeah. And then she pauses for a minute. And then she looks down. Then she looks over at my aunt. And then there's this big, long pause. And she goes, Doris gave it to me. And then it was like, oh, she gave you a heart. You didn't want to say she gave you the heart. And you two are lesbians. So anyway, that's how I knew my Aunt Dodo was a lesbian, even though she had been married earlier, you know. I, I don't think all gay men hate women, but I think all lesbian women hate men. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I got news for you. Straight dudes also hate women. A lot, really hate a lot of... A lot of... Anybody Wait. who's attracted to a woman hates uh, hates women. Wait a minute. Wait, so you <laughs> think... I'm Do kidding. You... I'm kidding. I... <laughs> you love women, Ray? Right? Come on. Of course. Do you have a girlfriend or no? No, no. I don't. Okay, why don't you have a girlfriend yet? How old are you? Uh, Do you say how old you are? I'm uh, I'm in my late four. It's my birthday. Uh, you look very young. You look yeah. good. It's yeah. your birthday today? No, 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 no. It's, Scorpio? Uh, it's coming up this week. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. I'm a Scorpio too. Oh, you are? are you? You're November a Scorpio 5th. too? November, November 17th. What are you? You're not Wait. a Scorpio, okay? I'm a Leo. Oh, Leo. See, the women are always into horoscopes. You know, like, you know, you know that's just like fake stuff, Patty. I, it might but be. Then again, uh, it might you be married, rabbit. You married a gay guy, so you believe so in knows? a lot of things that you should not have faith in. Uh, exactly. Um, okay, so you don't have a girl, but uh, you you like women or you hate women? No, <laughs> let's I like get women. this. Yes, you I love like women? women. I'm talking to two women right now. Why would yeah, I? that's true. I, okay, yeah. I'm getting a good vibe off of you. I'm not getting a woman hating vibe from you. No, neither am I. I only uh, hate maybe. myself. I only hate myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
how's your but how do you di- now do you have roommates you have roommates probably if you're comic right yeah i um i i rent a room in a guy's house that got divorced because i'm a comic so i'm not here a bunch and then when i'm in new york i'll, I'll stay with my buddy I'll, I'll give him cash to crash with him and then uh so yeah that's what so I'll, that's hard to find a woman when you know you don't have yeah like but that. also like it was easier dating when i was in new york city full time because like yeah. new york city went but like, here in ohio it's like not you know, like women in their forties, like women my age, it's it's not the they want to get married. Thing. Well, no, it's not that. But it's like, oh, you don't work at an insurance company, you don't have a four hundred one k, right? You, you you don't have kids. Like I look like a a freak to them. Yeah, yeah. You know, wait, why did you move to Ohio? Or that's where you live? I don't get it. Well, I came back during. That's where I grew up. I came back oh. during the pandemic because New York City kind of shut down. I was just doing the road full time, but also like I I kind of aged out in New York City, like. um like I used to do um, videos for like MTV's Guy Code and stuff, and uh, oh. I got aged out of all that. Like I, I knew that when I did a video, a web short for them, and they uh, showed another kind of like, oh yeah, I'm. They were gonna. I auditioned for Man on the Street for some uh, MTV Guy Code stuff, and they showed a video of me at a New York Giants game talking to women about football, and I'm like. How come MTV just didn't ask me if I wanted to be like they're literally showing footage of me? Of Where'd they get the they footage? Want. So they uh, just from their website. It's a video I did for them. Oh, but they wanted someone to do it. So essentially, they were like aging me out. That's their way of saying, like, listen, you're old. That's what happens. I yeah. hate to tell you. Uh, I didn't I, even I, get pregnant, Patty. I just aged. <laughs> I think men aging is easier than girls aging, though. I, I, hate to- I, I shaved my head today, Patty. Oh, it looks good. I got a, yeah. You're just saying that. I got a full head of hair, but I got a bad haircut. Can I it just was- tell you, my husband's bald. I love a bald head. Well, I I'm think not bald, bald at all. I have a great hairline. Like, I don't have any bald spots whatsoever. I just did so that. You just shaved it because a- you hate your haircut? No, I got a shitty you're haircut. I got a hair. It's just hairless. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I'm just right now. Let me read a couple super chats. Just uh, are these going to be mean? I hate no, these. I'm, no, no, no. I'll read okay. them. Uh, Tamplita converter. No, they're only mean to me. Ray, okay. would you put a, a flashlight in a dishwasher or hand wash it? Uh, I never had a flashlight, but if I <laughs> did, I think I would use it once, and that'd be it. I can't see me cleaning it ever. When uh, the batteries run out, you throw out the flashlight. That's my yeah. advice. Zimbabwean cupcake. Ari Jane is on with Franklin sniping you. Probably, probably. I got a lot of hated. I got people. I, I was on a network, Patty, and I love the producers, and I'm fine with the network. I just quit because I was doing just as fine on my own. So, oh, you're I, not with a network now. You're just independent. No, I don't have a producer, but I, I love I love everyone at that network. I have no problem. I was just Brennan hated the network. The network hated Brennan, and then I was always used as like, hey, middle. you say this to him, you tell them fuck you, fuck you, and then I'm over here like you tell them yeah. fuck you, fuck. It's like, you know, I'm out. I'm out. You guys fight your own yeah. fight. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not yeah, your yeah. fucking go-between anymore. You guys can just fucking fight each other and yell at each other. I'm out. Bob's old teeth. Does Kate have large square acne blotches or is she filming on a flip phone? Uh, don't read. Not to me. I'm the one with the fucking, I look like shit. Yeah. Patty, does it look like you have acne? No. Not at you all. Look you look beautiful. I think okay. Now, don't worry. Me. Yeah. They don't say worry, weird. Sh- yeah, I, yeah, yeah. On Brennan's podcast, they say horrible things to me. I so know. don't worry. Yeah. Don't listen to any. It Who's just doesn't matter. Asshole. But also, I am filming on a flip phone, so I would like to make that clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd rather you think that than. Uh, but actually, I did. I get very insecure about the acne comments because I had horrible acne all throughout my childhood. Me too. I, I was really? on Accutane. Were you on Accutane? Yeah. Oh, I'm look, I still. Acutane. Yeah. I still have like this acne scar has not like gone away. Maybe the lighting. Maybe it's the lighting. No, Chesney, no, you, you look beautiful. I'm They're looking at you, there. Kate. Yeah. That's just a weird thing. I don't know why you said that. You're beautiful. I don't, I've never noticed any acne, anything on you. And I've seen you close up like this. So don't, <laughs> don't let, don't take it in. You don't yeah, take it don't in. Don't take it in. Dr. Chuck. You just go, today, okay, ha ha. Goodbye. You know. Today would be a good day to come all right. <laughs> I wish I was gay. I'm like the one guy that wishes I was gay. Are you kidding me? Do you? I would, yeah. Life would be so much easier. It's yeah, easier to I, find I, sex. I that's for sure. Gay men have so much sex. I know so many gay men. <laughs> All they're doing is fucking. They're like, oh my God, that's so homophobic to say. 
you guys go on Grinder and you find guys who are in the same restaurant as you. And you guys message each other. Don't even tell each other your first name and head to the bathroom and fuck the dude in the ass or get fucked in the ass. You well, I, I know it's not that tough to get um, gay. Well, I, mean, I, I, I hang out with a, like a lot of gay dudes. Like, okay. Uh -oh. What's that? Someone's phone Is that mine? Calling. That's not me. Gino Bisconti's calling. Oh, uh, I'll mute you. No, I'm not taking that call. You can you could talk to him. I'm not taking. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not taking that call. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let him do his own thing. Total pain, Diaz. Not to be a total pain in the ass, Ray. Reveal your Dominican. Dick Cavett hairline for Chad. Thanks. Uh, that's what happened. I got a bad haircut. They lined my hair up wrong. I asked for a Dominican lineup, and she shaved the top of my head like a dog. What the hell is a Dominican lineup? What are you talking about? They line about? it up. You get your hair cut, and then they like they line it up. Oh, they that, tear it up. Oh, they do that. I always wondered why guys have. I thought, does their hair grow like that? That's an actual no, thing. All I thought they grew like natural. that. No. I always see black guys with that. I'm like, what is no. that? It's called what are the they Dominican shaving? lineup. And they shave it, or they you're married it? to a gay guy. How do you know? No one, no one. He had no I, hair. He was bald, and it fucking drove him crazy. Uh, he hated I losing. I would like to say he had great hair, and he gave me that hair. So you have great hair, yeah. and your dad had that thick. He used to do this bit where he'd pull his hair up, but he had the thickest. He had great hair. You know, you're, I, I'm sorry your father was gay, and it was it sounds like it was traumatic for you. But you know, but you know what? He did have really funny gay jokes. He used to come out, "Hi, honey, I'm homo." You know, that was so funny. You know, but him, him coming out of the closet actually made him change his act. So that's the one good thing. <laughs> you know, coming out. <laughs> that it's is one benefit. I, one benefit. It's funny talking to you because it's like getting your point of view from my, you know, because my daughters had the same thing yeah. where they had to hold a secret. And, but then he didn't, so he would, he would never introduce any boyfriends as his boyfriend. He would go, oh, this is my friend from blah, blah, blah. So that, and that was weird too. Like he went to his mother's funeral and he wouldn't invite the guy, even though he had been with him for years and years and uh -huh. years, you know? So that was also, so either way is weird. Because you're sort of in denial one way, and then you're overly not in denial the other way. Yeah. It's like weird. But anyway. Uh, I got to read this. D Dadpool, okay. very generous. Good afternoon, ladies. How badly do you think Ray is going to smash Chad in the MLC roast battle? Or do you think he won't go hard enough? Good luck, Ray. Get mean. Tear him up. Peace out. Well, thank you, Dadpool. Yeah, so Chad Zumach challenged me to a roast battle, which I don't mind doing it. Um, it's supposed to be two days. Yeah, he's Tuesday. Do yeah. you have shit written already? Yeah, it's it's it, yeah. I got stuff. I got stuff uh, written. Like it's not going to be that. But at the same time, I guess me. I'll guess I'll do it. But what do I gain from it? Do you get what I'm saying? Like you, you know can what? watch my special. You can watch his special. If this is like who's? It's like he gave me a homework assignment, and now I got to fucking do it for what? What do I gain out of doing it? I would I'm say no. Do it. Don't do it. Why bother? It's going to yeah, take up so much time to write the shit and go over it and get it good, and then. And you know, and plus, it's going to be on if it was in front of a crowd where there's an audience to hear the jokes. But it's where not, is it? It's, gonna, it's on Kevin's podcast where it's going to be just people saying hate. So it's people that are going to be <laughs> dicks anyway. So it's like there's nothing to win. Just say no. Say just, no. Well, Everybody I'm going to look like a bitch if I say no. But at the same, aged individuals. What? What's that? Everybody on the MLC podcast are hateful, <laughs> hateful, enraged, horrible individuals. <laughs> Wait, did you do the show? Have you yeah, have you done it? Do the show. What? I did the show last Friday. Oh, and how was it? It was good. I wish I went um, a little harder at first because I think I was being a bit too polite. Yeah. Um, if I had to do it over again, or if I do it over again, I. It, I'm going to be um, tougher from the start to the finish. I got tougher um, around 45 minutes in. Yeah, you kind of get to get used to the barrage of those comments. 
I mean, some of the comments are nice, you know, some of the people, but some of them are. Look, see, people can be nice here. Oh, stop it. You girls look amazing, says Brian K. Okay, and then, Brian K. We love nice. you. Brittany G says she's very pretty when uh see, you are very pretty. See? She's talking to both of you. She's talking oh, to God. Now, look at my I blew my hair out and it's already frizzing out and doing I don't know what the hell to do about my hair. I blew this out today to make myself look uh not like uh what did they call me the last time I did Kevin Brennan's podcast? They said I had Reba McIntyre hair. So <laughs> I I tried not to look like I had Reba McIntyre hair, but the damn shit is just frizzing out anyway. So all right. You know, I, I, can't, I, I, we all know Reba Magda. I, I do not know one of her songs. Oh my God. Da, 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 I feel da, like da, a woman. Da, da, da. Is that her? I feel yeah. like a woman. Bah, no, that's bah, Shania bah, Twain. Bah, bah, bah. Shania Twain. Shania Twain was the hot, sexy one with the pop songs. Reba McIntyre was more country turning into pop. But she Reba like, looks like we made it. Da, da, da. She did the one who loves me. Yeah, that, that's Shania Twain. All right, I guess every song. Uh, <laughs> but I, 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 now that you're saying that, I, I can't think of friends in low places. That's my favorite song. That's uh, Brooks. What's his name? Uh, none of these are Reba McIntyre. None of those are her. I only know, know 10 country songs. I'm She's going. a great, her voice is incredible. She has a great voice. But anyway, I love country music. But I like the old country. I hate the new pop country. I hate. Who's the guy who's married to the actress? I hate, I shouldn't say I hate him, but his music is, all the music is like, hey, I'm wearing my jeans and my booty and I'm in the truck drinking. They're all the same fucking song. It's like, give me, you know, fucking Johnny Cash killing a man just to see him die and like real fucking country <laughs> music. Like that was the real country music. This shit now is like, I mean, I sound like an old person, which I am. But I hate the new country. It's like that's why I said the uh, Shane Gillis joke, which is great. Country what? music is just a guy going about his day. So I woke up. Yeah, that's exactly. Kid, uh, that's exactly here, what it is. Spit out my it's, shoes. Like fuck yeah, that's a good start to a day, dude. I, I can have done it. That's, exa <laughs> that's so funny. That is exactly what the music is now. It sucks. The Shane Gillis bits, fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's funny. What were you saying, Kate? Because your microphone. It's all about drinking whiskey. That's, yes. That's, yeah. Um, I, I know there's this one song. It's like, last night we made the liquor talk. Can't remember everything I said, but I said too much. <laughs> yeah, is that Reba yeah. McIntyre or just that is not her? Uh -oh. That's that's the that's two lyrics verbatim from the song, and it's embarrassing because I've listened to it way too many times. There was one year where I was watching the Country Music Awards. It was like recently in the last five years or whatever. But every single song that was up for best song, it was about drinking. Like every <laughs> single one. I got my red cups, you know, that fucking red cup song. The solo that, cups. The yes. solo cups. And Which I got why my- Why do they call them solo cups? You only see them at parties. <laughs> if you're drinking out of solo cup solo. <laughs> That's yeah. your new really bit. Crazy. That's your new bit, Ray. Uh, yeah. uh, but yeah, yeah I, ha I hate the new shit, but anyway. Um, so do you think you forgive your father or what? Yeah. I, I don't know. Bob, I'm upset that it's, you know, because it is. And I feel bad for your mother. Did your mother know he was gay or no? I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm just curious. No, that's she, didn't. she didn't. She didn't. didn't. No. Was yeah. she angry at him after? Like, was she mad? I think so. Yeah. Why wouldn't she be? But I yeah. think she was also happy that it wasn't another woman. Right, ah, you can't compete. Because you couldn't compete with that. That's I don't no competition. That's right. I'd rather take the 25-year-old man yes. than the 25-year-old woman. Because that the 25-year-old is... man, I just want to say, he was very, very attractive. Yes. Like, perfect, good-looking dude. Gay right. men always are. Young gay men, they're like beautiful women. They're just They're beautiful. so handsome. Yeah. And they're just mother's friends loved him. They were like, Casey, he's so hot. <laughs> I think I could actually pull up a picture of him. You, you're really? I want to see a picture. But your dad slimmed down as he got a little older. Yeah, as he got gayer. He got gayer. As he got gayer. And you know what? That's really true. The gayer you are, the thinner you have to be. You can't be fat when you're gay. No. That's true. That gays yeah. won't put up with it. <laughs> Unless yeah. they want a bear. They do like, certain gays like the bears, the big, yeah. fat, hairy ones. And some gay men are really into being with men that look exactly like their type. Oh, where they both look alike? Is that? Yeah. Yes. Like two bears, they 
go together. <laughs> now, Kate, as, a, as someone that grew up loving your dad's comedy, um, would your grandparents really like your dad would explain, yeah. like, why yeah. are you walking around with that puss on your face? You always have a puss on your face. Turns <laughs> out he didn't have enough puss on his face. Turns out there's not <laughs> enough puss. They would have liked that more puss on your dad's face. <laughs> She was a lot like that. She had um, the same e exact voice. He did it perfectly. Really? Yeah, she was wonderful. She was this little skinny thing, very attractive, um, super funny. She was the absolute best. She passed away last year, but- um, uh, How did she handle him being gay? Was she like, okay? Well, she, my father told her and he says to her, did, did you have any clue that I was gay? <laughs> You were always opening the door. <laughs> that sounds like a bit your dad would do. Yeah. You were always opening the door. What does that mean? You were always opening the door. <laughs> That's so funny. Do you know that I always, your, your father's jokes, I was just talking to my husband, was it this week or last week? Something about he had pants on and I said, I go, well, you know, we're, we're, we're big pants people, you know? And yeah. then he didn't know what I was talking about. I go, that, that, that's Kevin Meany's joke. He goes, oh, you know, I was doing a reference to your dad because yeah. he used to come with me to shows and see your father, thought your father was hysterical. But I still bring up the shit that your yeah. father used to say. He, I, I think still, he was underrated. I think it's it was, easy to remember. No, but, uh, do you know, yeah, I think I, I, I have think a- I think underrated. Yeah. I think I have a picture of your father on my refrigerator still. Oh my God. Really? From his, I think, I, am I crazy or do I still have it? Wait here, you two talk amongst yourselves. Hold on, I'll be right back. But, the, but that, is, uh, that is hilarious to hear that about yeah. your grandma because like I would hear him talk about that. Uh, yeah. But like, yeah, apparently he needed more puss on his face. It's like that, it was your grandma's fault. She put, should have put more oh, puss on his face. Oh, that's so oh. sweet. Yeah, that was from the funeral or the wake. Okay, out of all the comics who have died and that I knew, this is the guy. He's on my refrigerator. Love this guy. The funniest. Uh, I just loved your father. I don't know what to. I didn't even know him that well. I only worked with him. Maybe I worked with him 10 times. Yeah. But, you know, I just, there was something about him. Handsome, too. I think he's very handsome. He had yeah. his pants on in that picture. Yeah, we may look alike a little. I kind of look like him a bit. I think you do. You I have he has a, he has a good he had a good jawline and you have a good shaped yeah. face. You, that's I have a good his eyebrows. Yes, I I'm looking. I have his hair. Do you have dimples? <laughs> yes, you do. Can yeah. you believe I have this on my refrigerator? That's so funny. And she's like, I also got that constant craving of penis that he had. I just <laughs> like that penis. We have a lot in common, my dad and I. We like the penis. So, yeah. I I do have a great um uh what do you call it? Compassion for gay people, especially men of that generation, because they couldn't be who they were. They had to marry a woman, they had to have they had to play along. Now and seeing how out they are, it's like, can we take it a little back? <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> different. It's like, yeah. Yeah. He worked in entertainment. He was living in Los Angeles. He could have been with a man. Nobody would have judged him. I guess, but I, then why would they go through the charade? You know what the I mean? The only one judging him was his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand where you're coming from, too. Yeah. It's like... I mean, when you're the kid, it's it's different than when you're the wife. Also, I found a better, not a better guy, but I mean, you know, Eric's a good guy. He wasn't for me. This guy that I have now, like, he's the guy I'm supposed to be with. So that's a good thing that it- Derek, right? What? He's also named Eric? You No, he's Kevin. Oh, he's, he's Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. And he's just kind and, you know, he's everything that I would want. So that's good that didn't work out. So it's easier for the woman than the child. Because the child, it's not like you move out on and find a new dad. You know, it's like yeah. that's the dad. Yeah. You know, but anyway, sorry. You sorry, I don't mean to bring this down. No, you're fine. No, <laughs> yeah. you got to, you got all the I gay, got a gay dad. He uh, came out and he gave me a stepbrother. Wait, who's your stepbrother? Oh, the guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, because he was so him. young. Yeah. That is also awkward. I mean, that's also. Yeah. Very awkward to have the boyfriend be, yeah. 
closer yeah. to your age than his. Yeah, well, it's weird. Like, he would go have sex with yeah. a dad, then come in the other room to watch the same movies with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. So, it's totally, <laughs> totally bizarre. But. He would need a big house for that. He'd have to be, like, upstairs on the other side of the house. Yeah, and we lived in this giant house um, where my parents never even had to see each other. My dad had this, um, basically it was like a sub-level apartment inside the house. And he would just uh, stay there all the time. And that my mom actually went down to his area of the house and realized he was gay because she needed to print something out on the computer. Oh, oh no. Do it. She finds men looking for men on Christ. Oh, no. oh no, that is such a horrible way to find out. I See, I um, proved my theory. Gay men are total whores. <laughs> <laughs> look for men on Craigslist. Craigslist is a weird place to find. Yeah. They're not looking for love. When you're on Craigslist, you're not looking for well, I mean, love. It's a different day and age. Back then, that's all there was. Like, now you have apps and stuff. Back then. Yeah, that's true. Like, back then, it's like, like, people used to just put ads in the fucking paper just for, yeah. for men or women, just looking, just no pictures, nothing, just a fucking right. ad. And like, okay, I guess I'm going to call them and meet them at this random location. Um, just this voicemail. I'll just leave a voicemail. Hey, okay, I'll meet you there. Peace out. Yeah. Like, yeah, when I was single, when, after my first husband, that is exactly how you met people on the, per they call them the personal ads. And you would see things. I remember this one guy, my husband always joke about it. There was a guy who said, call me, uh, I have healing hands. And I remember thinking, healing hands, that sounds so interesting. I want to date someone with healing hands. But anyway, I always remember that, but, but I, I meant, of course, I never called him. I, I wouldn't want to call someone from a newspaper and go, let's go out. I mean- I don't know. You're going to get a psycho who's going to stab you to death or whatever. Uh, I've watched yeah. too many uh, true crime shows. But anyway. I'm, I'm going to read a couple of these. And like, Kate, who's a bigger asshole? KB or Chad and why? Don't um, get involved. You don't answer, have to. The biggest asshole is you because you asked me if I had uh, blotches on my face, Bob. Oh, that's the same guy? Yeah. Oh, right. okay. So, all right. You're good. Kate, yeah. who has better arms? Chad or Ray? Chad. Chat. <laughs> uh, Kate, ignore Gino. Do MLC again. They want you. Yeah, you're welcome to do MLC whenever you want. Both you are. Uh, was I, Gino mean to you? Why? Why is Gino? No, I love to... Gino. Gino's been nothing but good to me. Oh, he's nice to you. Very good. Gino was always nice to me too. A absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, do a show with him every other Monday. You do? Yeah. Was that in hot water still, yeah. or is he? Not I do a lot of work over at Compound, so they're all my friends. I'm really good oh, okay. to see and Gino's fiance and um, Bill Schultz and Joanne and Anthony. So I'm, you know, all those guys. I, I hope Anthony's doing well. I know. Uh, I know he's feeling better, so he should be back around uh, Thanksgiving before or after Thanksgiving. What's wrong he, with him? He had a he had a yeah he had a bypass surgery. How old is he? Wow. He's 63. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess he's got a skill back on the, the drinking. But, yeah, hopefully he's all right. Looks like he's going to make a full recovery. Yeah. Does um, he smoke and stuff or no? He doesn't smoke. Oh, that's weird. Well, I mean, I guess people's hearts. I, I think you know. Gino can raise people's blood pressure. <laughs> I, think that, I, think, I think that can do it. Uh <laughs> Uh, Kate, did Adam, I did hear this. I think they were trying to uh, Venmo you, Kate, just a heads up. Oh, really? Uh, MLC. Yeah, because that's the one thing about MLC. Like you're on there for like a few hours and the fact that people will be mean to you, Kevin will recognize that and they'll go throw you some cash because you got because you deal with that stuff. So <laughs> that's that's true. Uh, yeah. Adam, it is long. Three hours is a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only do like an hour. We, we'll probably do like 15 more minutes. Uh, Adipus says, uh, I'll buy Kate's bath water. F you, Ray. Oh, he wants to buy your bath water. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, uh, that guy sounds interesting like a keeper, Kate. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. It's listed on Craigslist. <laughs> bath water and mayonnaise jars. Yeah. Well, this guy, like, says, uh, 
go back. He wants you to slide into his DMs. Uh, I think that's for both of you. I no, think it's we'll not think, for me. Trust think, me. Look, grandma doesn't slide into DMs anymore. <laughs> Don't worry. It's for kids. Maybe he's talking to me too. I, uh, but no, gay dudes will like, they're down for like pretty much any dudes. I, uh, I went to a Mets game. It was a Mets game. And then afterwards was a Sticks concert. The band Sticks. Kate, you're probably too young for uh, the band Sticks, but they. What had was the song. big song Sticks? Did? They had a bu- they had a bunch of them. Uh, I, I'm sailing away, a lady. Oh, okay. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember that. Uh, babe, I'm leaving <laughs> I'm because it's you, babe. <laughs> Anyways, I don't even know if they're a gay band, but it happened. It was a Mets game and then a Sticks concert. I want my buddy because we wanted to see Sticks. So it's like, all right, you get a free baseball game too. But it was also, unknowns to us, it was Gay Pride Night. <laughs> so like, we're just, I got hit on by so many dudes. And my buddy's better looking than me. So I felt good because they thought I was pulling that. They thought I was getting like, hell yeah, you know how we do. That's how we rock it, man. I went to a uh, I went to a Joan Rivers show down in the village, and her audience that would come were just gay men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some women, but all gay men. And my husband got there, Kevin, before I was married. We were dating. He got there before me, and I get he calls me up. He goes, "Oh my God, hurry up and get here!" He goes, "All oh, these guys are looking at me and giving me the eye." You know, I mean, he's a big guy. He's more of a bear type. He had a, uh, did he have a must? He had a mustache back then and everything. But he was like, "Help me!" They're they're looking at me and I can't take it. But yeah, they, they when you're in one of those situations, you're up for perusal of all the gay men. You know? Oh yeah. Back when I was in, when I first moved to New York City in was it the seventies or the eighties? Late seventies. There were glory holes and stuff. I don't know that they do glory that anymore. Holes. That sounds like a Bruce Springsteen song. Glory <laughs> holes in the middle of a young boy. Glory, glory This was this glory. was pre pre AIDS, and you glory would go holes. in a bathroom <laughs> and stick your penis in a hole, and the other person would either do things to your it, husband. You know? Showed you that he's like this. No, is he wrong. never. T- he this, this is be- better than you, lady. This is before yeah. I was married to him. This is back. This is when I first what? moved to New is York, this when and you I had met a- him. I know I had a gay I had a gay best friend and we used to hang and he would tell me all this shit like that you know and and he told me that who's the guy from Psycho uh that guy was gay Anthony Perkins he said that guy asked him to go away with him and then he also told me some playwright back then the scene was just you know yeah it's my wife but I'm going away you know to do a thing and you come with me for the weekend and I give you my you know whatever I'm gay to this guy gay DeVito (laughs) <laughs> uh, read my last super chat out loud in its entirety, Chris Matt. I'll go back and look for it, Chris Matt. But go ahead. Uh, but he has a mask over his face. That might, That's not a good sign. Yeah. I don't He's know. incognito. I never trust people who are incognito. Anyway. Yeah, he doesn't even like me anyways. The, the what, why do they listen if they don't like you? Uh, I, I don't know. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> hey, did Adam text you for your Venmo and did you get paid? If that has not happened, then yeah, asking this question every live stream I do, this guy. Uh, yeah, that's why. But he wants to know if you get paid. He's, he's looking yeah. out for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like if he's the one paying me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the converters, Ray, stop reading the chat. All right. <laughs> R.I.P. Little know. Beavis Cumia. Yes, his pussy cat died. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Who's Beavis? Uh, Anthony's cat. Oh, yeah. it's always yeah. sad when your animal dies. You love them so much. Yes. Did, did you guys see? Um, did you guys see this? Uh, did you see Kevin is trending? Yes, I did. Who hasn't? <laughs> for, yeah. Oh, for saying stuff about what's his name? I love when junkies die. I love when junkies. He die. didn't say that. Yes. He no, did. he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he didn't. Wait, is that is that a new photo of him? Yeah, that's yesterday. The paparazzi's <laughs> following Kevin around. And look at Kevin. Uh, wait a minute. Are they at his house? They followed him. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> they get him on his bicycle. Fantastic. And what are they saying? Okay, I didn't know this. Okay. Yeah, they're coming for Kevin Brennan. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, Kevin's loving every minute of it. Oh, well, yeah. why else would you put it on if you didn't want? Look, that? He's smiling right there. He's giving pose. 
Uh, they're coming for them. I, I, I'll be a spokesperson. On a Tuesday afternoon, riding a bike with two white shopping bags. Well, the way Why they are they like, following him, though? I don't Kevin get it. Kevin Brennan what? finally reveals himself after posting yeah. nasty tweets. And what, who's, who's, is this TMZ or whatever the hell it is? Or is this? This is the it's, Daily Mail from the I mean, United Kingdom. Yeah. British people. Why do British coming. people care? That's so Oh, funny. they're coming for him. They're coming they for care Kevin. About friends cast. Uh, Just oh, you, them. oh my God. <laughs> How do oh they know God. that's him? How do they know that's Kevin? <laughs> I know he's got like a mask on, doesn't he? What's that thing around his chin? Oh no, maybe it's a turtleneck. <laughs> well, I think I think he wears the mask out. Someone says Kevin Brennan moonlighting is a biker for Uber <laughs> Eats. <laughs> oh my god! Oh I my god! Picture. Oh it, my. I'm going to be wow. a spokesperson. I'm going to talk to uh, TMZ on Kevin's behalf. That's what. And I'm what gonna are you going to say? What's your What's I'm your gonna take? Say, he apologizes for everything. He's never going to apologize. Not, not there's nothing to apologize for. Not, like the fact that he won't, I don't know what they want from him. Like, yeah, all right, it was a mean. What all started when he died, uh, Kevin just tweeted, ha, 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 ha. And then like TMG's like, can you believe it? X -S -S -N L writer says this, this, and that. And then, but then they engage with him and it's Kevin. And then that's when it got funny is Kevin just, doubling down and everything like you think it's funny that he died in a hot tub it's like is a uh, someone goes why is it funny he died in a hot tub and kevin just tweet, replies back because they aren't that deep <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is oh, no, which is oh, pretty no. i feel so bad for his family i feel bad for chunkies and drug addicts i know people whose kids have died from it so it's like i don't know his family got a lot of money so huh? his family must have gotten a lot of money Yes, but it's kind of sad because they didn't think they kind of thought he was over all his problems. And then I don't know. I, th I think those problems always stay with you. Right. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah, I, is done. I mean, I've been known to drink. I'm sure that damage is done to me. You know, how much did you drink? Like alcoholic drunk drinking? No, nah, I was never in the shots, but I could I could drink like uh, like eight, nine beers in a night. Like pretty, oh pretty God. good. But I, yeah. Were you fat then? That that would make you. No, fat. I, I I I did it three weeks ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, like, you mean you still drink? Oh God! I, I don't. I don't drink as much anymore. But I will. Yeah, I'll still do it. I don't know. Why I'm, eight? I, why why don't you just drink two and go to bed? What's the eight about? Eight. Make <laughs> sure you actually really do go to bed. Uh, but. Oh, I can't do it because I get gout and stuff. I get health uh, health oh issues. God, so you like, get gout from drinking? Oh my god, that's not. I, I used to drink quite a bit. I could drink eight beers. Really? Yeah. yeah. Do you still drink, Kate, or no? I'm not really. No. Because you're skinny. I mean, I think when women drink, they get bloated and stuff. Yeah, that's true. So guess what? Guys get bloated too. Uh <laughs> I did that for a long time, and then you know, then I drink a little now, but I'm like, I don't want to ruin the way I look. Right. So it does affect, I know women drinkers and their face, they, women who are beautiful and their faces just get like, like a bloat on them. It just looks yeah. off. You know, their faces are weird. That's and how like that, women that drink wine. And you can see the teeth. What's oh that? yeah. The purple teeth. Yeah. Yes. The purple teeth. Yeah. I did like wine. I don't drink anymore. I, I never was really an alcoholic, but I, liked, I would think about it all the time. Like when I, I would only drink two, but every day when I'd wake up and the bottle was half full on the kitchen counter, I would think, when can I drink that? What time is it? Nine, 10, one, four. Okay. Five. I can have my, you know what I mean? Like you shouldn't yeah. be thinking about liquor like that. So then I just thought, because my father was an alcoholic. So I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna, I had a surgery. I couldn't drink for two weeks. Cause, and then I just thought, you know what, I can do this. So then I just stopped drinking. Yeah. It just makes it easier. It's just so easy to fall into the habit of drinking. Yes. When you work in environments like we do, like right. we're a comedy club or going out with like everybody from compound or, you know, everybody's drinking. And so if I drink, then I'm just going to fall into the habit of drinking all the time because that's what happens. Um, 
Also, drinking for someone like me, I've like a ton of anxiety and OCD and all that stuff. That's why I drink. I have anxiety. Uh, you can't fall asleep at night a lot of times. Yeah. So that is the problem is that I wake up in the middle of the night and then I can't fall asleep. So my sleep is always fucked up because I'll be up for three hours, then go back to sleep. And that, because I have a lot of thoughts, I have intrusive thoughts. I have, so drinking was good for that. And drinking is good. It's on the brain. It just shuts yeah. Down. yeah, and you just and everything's happy. It was like a mood elevator for me, even though they well, say I'm it's not a happy. depressing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not happy. I but it stops the thoughts. It just it, it you just go thoughts, like this yeah. is how I am all the time. And I'd have two glasses of wine. And I'd just be like, okay, life is fun. I'm not thinking about anything. But I would never be drunk, drunk. Yeah. But it would just be my buzz was on. I could fall asleep. I don't have thoughts and. But you know, I could be medicated, but no, that just well, seems wine like is, well, medications uh, also make you fat as well, you know. Oh yeah, wasn't that? I think Prozac makes you fat, right? Yeah, my dad went oh, on really? Prozac um, before he became gay, and then you know, <laughs> and then you needed more Prozac <laughs> after he was <laughs> gayness. He was on Prozac, and it he he would say it made him blow up, and you could really? see that. Because once he went off Prozac, he got very skinny. Um, and then he died. But <laughs> do you what, think what, like, what did he uh, die of, by the way? A heart attack. Okay. Do you think that was from like not from Prozac though, right? From no, going on no. I think I think like he was stressed and had anxiety. He also was a smoker and would smoke oh. like like it two packs a day. Yeah, smoking oh, really? will definitely, that's why my dad oh, died of heart disease. Yeah. My dad didn't drink at all, but uh, the cigarettes, that'll- My dad too, heart- Close, to... your, close your arteries like, yeah. like, yeah. like nothing. Yeah, uh, so then yeah. they put a stent in it, or whatever they call it. And, then and it makes then you... sense. You ever been in a smoker's house and just look at the walls? You're like literally caked in yellow. Like, yellow. Paintings, I sell antiques. I can always tell the paintings that have been in a smoker's house. They've got a yellow film- you got to get them cleaned off. They get stuck in in the varnish, and it's just like it's like tar in, in your in your in the air you're breathing. My yeah. dad smoked in the house all the time. I mean, he smoked in the car when we were kids. Yeah. You have the windows up, dads. You just used yeah. to it. Like nobody thought, oh, you might kill your kids with the smoke. Nobody gave. You, you yeah, obviously, it's not healthy. Your fucking walls are brown. <laughs> like you're putting that <laughs> in your body. What makes you think in any way? Same thing with hairspray. Like my sisters and mom would always have hairspray and literally like our mirrors were just like caked in hairspray. <laughs> and it's like, this cannot be healthy. Like even as a little kid, I'm like, this can't be good. I like got to like finger <laughs> yeah. through it's the like hairspray. It's like glue. Yeah, exactly. And it smells yeah. like, you yeah. know. And you're putting that on your fucking right. head and your face every single day. Right. It's like yeah. unbelievable. I think that's why I had acne so bad. But yeah, I had horrible acne as a kid. I, I used to take yeah. a pill for it. Yeah, yeah, you took African as well. Yeah. And does it go away with the pill? With no, the actually, I struggled with it up until recently. So I went on Accutane when I was a junior in high school. Had a lot of bad side effects because it dried my face out, made my lips really, really, oh. really dry. Oh. Um, really dry. I looked like a zombie. And then I finished yeah. the medication. And then I went... Um, off it <laughs> and uh then the acne started to resurface and started to come back and last year was probably when it ended but um yeah you're getting older now end. like it's definitely like a it stops like early 20s for me yeah. and like but it was just like everywhere like i, I would do retin-a i would play basketball i I'd play that's one thing i wasn't a good looking kid i had acne all over the place so i would just um yeah, I would have like retin-A on my face and then my jersey would be bleached because the retin-A would come off my face and it would bleach oh my, my jersey. God, that's so so everyone hard. else had like same color jerseys and mine was <laughs> like, jersey. I'm like, my mom doesn't know how to do laundry. Leave me alone. My, <laughs> oh, that's my so mom's terrible. fault. Uh, when I was young, when we had acne, I, I never had a bad time with acne, uh, but I would get acne and you'd get Clearasil, this orange yeah, yeah. I'm tube, not, and you'd put not. it on the things and you'd walk around in school with orange crust shit on your zits. Yeah. Because they told us if you squeezed them, you'd be scarred for life. So I was always, a, yeah. so I'd have a big, huge pimple with pus. And instead of just squeezing it, 
I'd pack on this orange clear <laughs> still and walk around school. I was such a nerd, but you know, what are you going to do? I would just squeeze them. I, and if I get one nowadays, I'll still squeeze it. I get a lot of pleasure out of popping pimples. Yeah. Yeah. I do that yeah. too, man. Just like, explodes. One of my daughters uh, watches those to fall asleep. Oh, and not yeah. my daughter, the comic, popping the other pimples. daughter. Yeah, the pimple popping videos. She goes, oh, they're so relaxing. I go to sleep to them. No, right? they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, they put them on at Planet Fitness, and I'm like running on a treadmill. It's like, can you put on Sports Center or something? Come it's on, the guy with this giant goiter on his neck. <laughs> like, they actually have a TLC show about it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what they play. Dr. At pimple Fitness, Popper is TLC yep. instead of fucking Sports Center. Well, they, that's, want, they want fucking middle-aged housewomen in the <laughs> like walking, looking at their phone at the gym. Like that's what they want. They don't want people to actually run on the treadmills. So they put on like these uh, mind-numbing thing. I'm gonna read yeah. a couple of these. Uh, Kate Meany. Kate plays with her beanie. Hi, Patty. I don't. If I, I had, a, I'd play with it. I think we'd all play with it, right? Play with what? Like, are they talking about a vagina? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Are they talking they're... about my hair? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what a beanie you know, is. Or, I don't know what a beanie is. Ray, how about filling Patty in on what KB? Uh, you go ahead and put it in the chat. Don't do a super chat. Tell me what you want me to say, Leo Gunn. Um, oh, no. Is this horrible? I'm afraid. No, I'm afraid. no, it's not. It's not. It's not okay. horrible. No. I'm always uh, afraid of the super chat comments. Yeah. Patty, what did you think of Dove David off? Oh, it's because uh, Kate used to date him. Yes. Yeah. I, I only met him once. Uh, met him once. Patty thinks he's very handsome. When Patty and I had a conversation about him, he's Patty very handsome. He's very handsome. I, I met him once with, he, he, I did a show with him. He was with his wife and baby backstage. And uh, uh, I, don't, I really don't know anything about him. I only worked with him that one time. Yeah. I don't he know. was nice the few times I met um, like he was with, nice to me, definitely, yeah, but I, nice I, I, unique individual. I don't know him. Why did Kate get dolled up for Ray? Looks great. I wow. didn't get dolled up at all. I have no makeup on. My hair. You have no on. makeup on. Come on. Come on, Kate. No, no, no you, on. you look really good. Oh, you look nice. I woke up uh, way too late. So did uh, I. Late enough. Um, I don't want to admit yeah. what time I woke up because what time? No, like 11.50. I woke up at 11 today. I never wake up at 11. I'm like, what the fuck? But that's because I'm up in the middle of the night and I can't sleep because I have too many thoughts. Me. I Not couldn't good. fall asleep. And then I woke up around 8 um, after just a couple hours sleep. And I'm like, all right, I'll just get up early. And then I laid down. Then I woke up at like, um, I set the alarm for 11 just in case I fell asleep. And then I woke up at 11 and I had like a bunch of dreams and stuff. I like having dreams, even if they're nightmares, because it means I was actually asleep. Yeah, I have bad yeah. dreams. My, my husband laughs in his sleep. It's so weird and it wakes me up. You know, he's always like, ha, 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 ha. And I, I'll like wake him up. What, what's so funny? Because I always want to know what the hell he's laughing at. But, but my dreams are always like, I'm running for the plane. And they said, I can't get on the plane. And then finally someone says, you can. I just had this dream. And you can get on the plane, but you have to sit in a jumper seat. And it's a six-hour flight. And yeah. So my dreams are always horrible. Someone's chasing me. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm wearing my hair and like I have a thing with curlers in my head. Your husband's Somebody's gay. He's hanging out at glory holes. <laughs> he never, my gay ex-husband is not promiscuous. That I will tell you. He's like in love with his, he's one of those guys. He's in love with his husband. He says that they're very monogamous. There are gay guys like that. Yeah. He's, he's that gay guy. My favorite uh, story of, uh, I'm going to say my favorite story, Kate, about uh, Patty's gay husband is he cried at the altar on their wedding day. <laughs> Do you know that I just asked about that? My daughter taped this thing because I said, hey, remember when you cried at the altar? Why would you do that? Because you knew it was a bad idea. He goes, no, I was just so overwhelmed by the whole process. I think that's a bullshit answer, really. <laughs> he said, I was overwhelmed by the whole you know, moment. I'm like, oh, okay. Was it a shotgun wedding? <laughs> you get married in the Catholic Church. What? You get married in the Catholic Church. I did. And Judy Gold played the piano at our wedding. Oh my God, no, I love it. She played the organ and then... Uh, so much gayness going on at this wedding. Yeah. Did, uh, I know. did Kate's I'm dad sure. do a musical? Dude, <laughs> do you know... 
<laughs> oh my God, he, my husband, yeah, he did work all this. He wanted the music to be When You Wish Upon a Star. How gay is that? That was played. <laughs> <laughs> that's what our that's what our song was. I'm walking out. He's crying. Then we did the reception, and he yeah. said, "Hey, let's give out a TV. Let's <laughs> let's every, give everybody tickets, and somebody wins a, a a color TV." So we bought a color TV. How long ago was that color TV? They had to specify. It's like this one colored, unlike the other it, one. Was it 89, 19? I don't know when the fuck I got married. Maybe, no, maybe 85. I don't remember when I got married. They were making non-color TVs. <laughs> we, we gave out a color TV and the person who won was my sister, which looked really shady, but she <laughs> did actually, everyone got one ticket as they went in. And then when my sister won, everyone's like, ah, oh, that's fucking not right. You know what I mean? But she actually won it. We, we didn't do anything, you know. It was rigged. Yeah, it, I, I swear it wasn't, but it did look bad. Kate, are Bad you old office. enough to know that there were once black and white televisions? Oh, yes. I'm an old soul. Okay. I'm sure oh, you've really? seen them. Like, <laughs> no, no, of course. Of course there were black and white televisions. My kids, we, we had black and white television until I moved in with my husband. How could I mean, black and white televisions? There used to be black and white movies. Yeah. Yes. But, I mean, there was uh, – yeah, yeah, all right. I guess that's still in your lifetime. I didn't know if that's still in your lifetime. I, I assume by the time you were around – there were only color TVs. Options. Yes, that's true. Yeah. There were only color TVs when I entered into this world. Yeah. Wait, but I'm I just saying, right. the fact that Patty got married at that time was so long ago, it was still an option to buy a black. <laughs> it was what? still a big deal for it to be named. <laughs> yeah, color TV. TV. Yeah, right. It wasn't just a TV. It was in color. <laughs> but it wasn't even big. Yeah. It was like this big. Um, DVDs. Like oh, yeah, way. yeah. Yeah. How about, no, what he, were those he, big ones? Beta, what was those big things that you'd put in? Those VHS, were, VHS, VHS, and there was betas. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had those. Betas, I mean, like you married the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those so big cool. things you put in. And then the tapes <laughs> would come out and get ruined and everything. I have um, like a bunch of VHS tapes. I actually have to get them um, all digitized of, like everything from the Boston comedy scene, like all oh, yeah. of my dad's old um, television appearances. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, all that's... of the archives just like laying in this closet. I'm at my mom's house right now. Um, but a whole closet filled with it. So I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing those. Like, yeah, I'd be, yeah, I'd be down to like, so you know funny. What? what they did with whoever that guy is. I'm not Norm on YouTube has all Norm McDonald's old stuff. Yeah. I bet you can have a very popular YouTube channel. Oh, for with, sure, with all your dad's uh, old stuff, like yeah, and it's not only even his stuff. It's um, like a bunch of stuff from the Ding Ho in Boston, just like tapes of um, all those Boston comedy legends, um, like just shows that they would put on. So it's a pretty cool collection of stuff. I have a friend who's digitizing some of them um, currently, but that'd be awesome. And you I can think. easily get that monetized because it'll get a bunch of views where you can yeah make some money every month yeah. by uh off that channel for sure i mean i i i for one would watch it a bunch like I got all the catch a rising star stuff like all of these great people so not not just my dad um just a bunch of uh great comics no that's cool um yeah. every once in a while henry mantel will put up uh your yeah. father doing something yeah and uh What's that song he used to do? I don't care. I'm I happy. don't care. I don't care. Oh, lucky and da 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 plucky. And I thought, oh, he just made that dumb song up. Okay. It's a real song that Judy Garland sang in a movie. I'm watching a movie. I'm like, oh my god, that's that's Kevin Meany's song that I just thought he made up because it was so crazy, you know. But anyway, um, wait. Um, I guess my mic was too far, according to this guy in the super. No, I, it's not coming in through your. You're fine. You've sounded the. It's coming in through your computer, but it's fine. Don't don't worry about uh, that. Is that what he's saying? Oh, and Party Boy, thank you. Party Boy was nice. Guys, party Boy, so I'm saying thank you. It's not going to sound horrible when um, people watch this. Yeah. No, just when when you talk, I purposely make an effort to not talk because it takes a, just a second for you to come in, but you've been fine. Okay. I really need to learn how to do all of this technology stuff. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. I'm the worst. I couldn't get. I thought I was on, and I wasn't even yeah. on. I'm like, can't you see me? 
I mean, and I'm calling my husband. Hey, they don't see me. He goes, okay, start over. And he's walking me through it. I'm like, oh God, I guess I didn't press enter. I pressed the thing and there's an enter if you scroll down. <laughs> Oh, you like, put the idiot. antiques up nicely behind you. I have <laughs> head. She's got. How's this? I don't. No, you sound, you found, it's, it's uh, not. You sound good. Either, but it's okay, fine. Cool. You sound good. Right. We're going to get ready to wrap up here in a few minutes. Anyway. Okay. Hey, yeah. ladies, Ray has a brain injury from a car crash. If he seems a bit strange, that's why. He's not supposed to drink because of it. Kate, your mic is too far. That's from ads. Um, Wait, were you in a car accident? Yeah, I was in a car accident. Yeah, I, I had a concussion in a car accident. I, I was too. Was I've car. had car accidents and neck reconstruction, bones and the whole thing. So are you off in your brain from it or are you fine now? No, I'm fine. They're just being, being mean. <laughs> yeah, just being dicks. Uh, I don't know if oh, you know okay. how this internet works, but <laughs> no. I think I always cool. had something wrong with my brain. So it's it's fine. Bob's old teeth. Kate looks great, even with the braces. I don't know. I don't even know if she's wearing braces. Not I'm really. not wearing braces. Yeah, it's not wearing. I meant Kate <laughs> flicks. That's what I thought you meant, but I mean, they didn't want to. If I was a woman and I had a clitoris, I would flick it too. So yeah, I and if I had a good. dick, I would jerk off. So. Yeah, so of course. Yeah, I think that's. It's so messy fun. with men, though. You always you always so need messy. like tissue or something. It's like there's well, always put a residue. Huh? I just assume you can like. Jerk off into a toilet, right? No, you don't. No, I don't. Like, know. I don't stand there. That would be a very unromantic. I mean, I guess men aren't romantic right? when they jerk I'm, off, but I guess you're just have to hanging out at an Applebee's. Like, <laughs> that's, that's called doing a. Yeah. I mean, don't you need a fantasy to jerk off, Ray? Or no, you can just jerk off. I want, I want some porn. I want some porn to jump start it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just, I'll so you need it. something. You can't just be, I guess, uh, over a toilet, right? Yeah, I can do it in you ten know. minutes. I can literally just like just give me ten minutes. And... Ten minutes seems long. Yeah, you want to yeah, like enjoy it. Yeah, nah, you want to get into it a little bit. You want to. Oh yeah, I guess know. the longer than the better the orgasm, right? For yeah. guys or no? Oh, okay. I'm uh, I'm in my forties gotta... now. I'll, I'll massage my prostate a little bit. We'll get into it. We'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, already. This why is getting, not? Hey, yeah, this is getting sadder and sadder in the guy's basement. He's massaging his, a, his prostate. I'm some guy's not in a basement, Patty. He's in a room. In oh, a he's room. in a room. You're he's not in a room. In a big boy room. <laughs> <laughs> you have a big boy room. With tissue. With tissue next to the bed. No, I'll do it like in a shitty towel. I'll do it like in a towel. Then I'll th throw the towel in the wash. <laughs> Hey, did you know that people used to have landline phones? They're making fun of me with the <laughs> color TV remarks. Yes. We used yeah. to have a landline phone in our house while I was growing up. Yeah. And you a landline. Yeah. I yeah, you'd have the long, thing. the long, the long thing on it. Like you could walk from the kitchen into the living room and it was like an eight foot cord. Did yeah. you have that? Oh yeah. I, I think it was kind of um, better when we didn't have cell phones, right? I think yeah, these like cell phones the, have messed up the world. The world will never be the same. And it's unfortunate. I am addicted to my phone and I hate that I'm addicted yeah. to it. I look at it. And you know what? I used to read books and I never read books now. It's terrible. It's horrible. Yeah. It, and I, you know, I was in, uh, I was visiting my daughter across the country and there were all these, it was all young people and every single one, I kept saying to my husband, look, and they're out in the street, but they're all like this in their phone, like, but they're standing next to each other and they're just in the phone. It was like, it was like the pod people, you know, with the phones and like, I don't know, like at restaurants, I feel like you should be talking and eating yes. with the person you eat with. Like, I understand if you're by yourself, you're looking at, but when you sit down to eat, like, don't you like talk to the person, but they're all know. like looking at their phones, like boyfriends and girlfriends sitting together. I don't know. It was, it upset me. It was like weird. But the I other thing about it is, when when you had a landline, if somebody called you, you didn't want to, you, you just don't call them back and you act like you didn't get the call. You know what I mean? Now, like people know. Oh, I didn't remember when that was a game changer. Oh my God. There was a time, Kate, when there was not a uh, caller ID. You'd when have I, to pick up the happened, phone. You'd have to yeah. like pick it up and be like, hello, Gino. <laughs> 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 hey, you. Uh, I don't know. You. <laughs> I would always be with my mother. She, my mother would always be like, oh, it's, you know, Derek. And I'd be like, 
And she goes, no, she's not in. And then Derek, you know, after like the fifth time, Derek, get, you get the message. But like with this shit, with social media, you're posting. They know you're there. They know you're on the phone because that little fucking green dot is there or whatever it is. So they know you're reading it. They know you can and you can see who's looked at what. It's like you can't get away with just getting rid of fucking people. Oh, I know. There's when I'm out. You guys keep saying this. I get like two phone calls a week. <laughs> no, when you're young, I don't get any either. But when you're a young woman, guys are always up your are ass. Dead. <laughs> Who's calling? I don't around? really. I have no boyfriend at the moment. Well, you will. You're a gorgeous girl. <laughs> New York is horrible to find men, though, I, I will tell you. And also, you work at a comedy club. That's another bad place to find men. Yeah. No, off no offense, Ray. Hands, but um, <laughs> it doesn't ever work out. There are some comics who get married and, or have steady relationships. Yeah. But I think it's a minority. Right, Ray? Would For you say? Sure. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Um, are your friends married or in? Yeah, a lot of my friends are married. Yeah, a lot of my friends that like uh, the comic comic friends. Yeah. Oh, but they are. They got, they got like writer jobs and stuff now, so they have like families to marry. Have kids. Yeah. Oh, they have. Oh, okay, so I'm wrong. Maybe I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah, they don't okay. like run around the country doing stand up uh, as much anymore. So. See, I'm thinking like, how do you be with someone if you're just on the road all the time? And I don't know. Yeah, hard. I don't. I, I, but I like leaving, going down and down. I don't like staying still, so I don't really? mind it. Yeah, I don't. Oh. I don't like staying in one spot too long. Did you almost ever get married? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Do you want? You probably don't want kids. Do you want kids? No, I don't. I don't think. No. I'm not opposed you, to it if I have met the right woman, the right situation. But like, yeah, I'm not. It's not something you think. I, I really can't want. even keep a fucking haircut straight. I literally <laughs> just saved this today. I'm just starting all over. Like I, I can grow a full head of hair. Like I got a, yeah, yes. I have no bald spots anywhere. I like I, the shaved look on you though. That's a cool look. Well, you're just being nice. It's, no, uh, I, I serious. I love no hair. I love the no hair look. I mean, I like hair too. Don't get me wrong. Some guys have great hair, but uh, both guys are cool. I, I like it because I can just go to the gym and stuff and just uh, go on with my day. I exercise every day because of my anxiety, so I have to go to the gym. I so, should exercise uh, every day. I, I got to disturb it. Helps with the I pretend I exercise every day. Who does? You do? I pretend I exercise every day. You I'm will missing... feel better. It gets the endorphins going. I'm really? You. I feel like shit. And then I'll run like four miles, even though I don't want to run. Like I do, I'm in a better mood. The endorphins get going. It does like uh, okay. pick up your day. Um, yeah, Ray and Patty can both get BJ's due to their injury. That is true. At least it's true on my end. On my that end. is true on my end also. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ray. I'm Just glad. hear me straight. Kate, hit me up. Party Boy's not gay anymore. Party so. Boy is not gay. <laughs> He used to be gay for me, but not anymore. He just scared me straight. Maybe it was the jerking off into the crusty towel. <laughs> Changed his mind. I'll be this with a super sticker. Um, all right, let's. Let's get ready to wrap up. Where can people find you? What what, uh, what do you got coming up? Um, All right. We'll, we'll get uh, Patty first. And okay. This Saturday, I'm in Staten Island. I'm doing a gig for pediatric cancer. It's a fundraiser. I wish I could tell you exactly where I'm going to be, but just go to my Facebook has where exactly. But if you live in Staten no, Island. Nobody really does Facebook. I have a Facebook fan, book, uh, fan page. Yeah, but like I, I don't. Okay, my Instagram. Things. Go to my Instagram. I don't, Instagram. I'm saying, fa- but I also your Instagram. Do, I don't even fucking know, Patty Ross. Brown. <laughs> and, Let me tell you, I am the on Twitter. I tag you on Twitter, but like you don't. I don't do Twitter because I hate that fucking asshole. What's his name? Elon Musk. Ex- Guess what? I hate he's, that Elon Musk. He's not reading your text, Patty. You know who's going right, to get all the people that were watching this podcast that actually like you. They will know of your gigs. Elon Musk oh. is not going to your show in Staten Island. One okay, of I'm telling you. I'm going to tell them exactly where it is. 286 South Restaurant, Richmond Valley Road, Staten Island. So it's a fundraiser with Justin Gonzalez, Andrew Rich, and Richie Redding. Do you know any of those guys? Yeah, I know Richie Redding. Oh, you do? Okay. So that's where I'm going to be on Saturday, this Saturday. Then I've got I got a private the next my next public Check out one. Richie Redding's Twitter because he'll tweet it. Patty will not. But check out Richie <laughs> All right, Twitter. maybe you can mention maybe you can mention my name since I hate Elon Musk. 
And then if you're in Pennsylvania, December one and two, I'm doing the casino at Wilkes Bar. I think it's Wilkes, Wilkes Bar, Bar Wisecrackers. I was so just there. there. I was just in Scranton this past weekend. Not I was at that club. I was doing uh, but I, I was doing shows in Scranton. Did you do you work for uh what's his name? For Nick uh No, I I I used to wisecrackers all the time, but the booker changed, so I don't know the new guy, but yeah, I will definitely hit him up. It's his son, uh, it's Nick, the son. He's a great oh, the guy. Son? Yeah, one? he's booking it now. All right. And, I just and know his, the guy doesn't exist anymore that did do it. It doesn't exist. He's still alive. He's still oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Bruce, right? Scott yeah, Bruce Scott used Bruce. to book yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. now it's his son, Nick Bruce. So now you got to call Nick Bruce. Okay. All right. He's nice. I That's love that nice. room. It's fun. Yeah, it was great. It was always fun every time I did it. Party boy, good timing. I'm going to the gym too, Ray. Bench up. There you go. Stormy's got your back. Kate at Kate. Meanie is cool. Oh, that's her Twitter. We didn't no, get no, no, no. That's there. my YouTube. That's my YouTube. That's her, that's her YouTube. Um, what do you my, put on YouTube? Uh, I have a podcast now. So oh, my, good for my you. episode is dropping tonight, the third one. Very um, good. It's called Kate Speech. Like hate speech, but with Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, you don't, uh, but uh, I, I want you to plug your stuff, but I'm still on P Patty. Patty. You don't do like Instagram reels and stuff. Put them up. One of them will get like 50,000 views. And you know what? This is what's terrible about me. My daughter does comedy. She puts up a reel every single day. Even She used to do her act, but then, you know, you like run out of material after like months. So now she just does walking and talking and coming up with shit. I know I should do that. I, I, the problem is I don't know how to do that. I'd have to hire someone to teach me how to do shit. It's, it's not that difficult. Look, and do you get do you get people coming to your shows from putting this stuff up? Yeah, yes, people do. See, I should do this. Not not enough because I'm not I'm not headlining uh, heliums and. Well, this know, is the problem with me and social media. Like, I just have these things I wanted to only. to put up on my social media, and then I think, eh, you know, why do I want people to know my business? <laughs> So yeah. You know, people put up all this personal stuff and my dog died, my this and my that. And I, you know, sometimes I just feel like, why do I have to tell everyone that, you know, like, why do I, I don't know. I have the worst attitude about social media. I guess I'm lazy, but I also do have a full-time job. So it's like, I have this crazy fucking job, but yeah, I know I should do it. It's like, yeah, you should do it. So say, say your Instagram again. What is it? I don't even know. Addy Rossborough. Don't yeah, it's Patty Rosborough. P A T T Y R O S B O R O. You've changed. her a friend request on Facebook, apparently. <laughs> I only have 900. Do I have 951 followers? No, I'm maybe that's who I'm following. Oh, no, I'm following 300. I, I, do you think I know how this shit works? I don't. But, you know, I don't know what's telling you. It's embarrassing. But you're doing and I asked my daughter, how, how do I do this? She goes, Mom, come on. Don't make me go over this with you. <laughs> you know, so. I well, should I hire an intern. I'll hire someone. Yeah, give your uh, daughter a couple bucks to like do it for you. She doesn't want to work for me. I've asked her. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I see because she's like doing part time work now. Hey, come work for me and help me do these things and I'll pay you. I'll pay you good money. And she's like, I don't want to work for my mother. I'm like, God damn it. Because she's wow. really good at social media, but she doesn't want to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't say much for me, does it? That's kind no, of bad. I think you're a wonderful lady. How about, <laughs> how about you, Kate? Where can people find you? At well, Kate Meany is cool on YouTube. And then you can find me on Twitter at Kate Meany 2. Kate Meany 2. Uh, Ray Kate. tagged me um, with the YouTube stream today. So if you go to... Yeah, anyway, you can find Twitter. me on Twitter at Kate Meany 2. <laughs> yeah, you can find... They're both tagged on my Twitter if you go to at Ray DeVito. Yeah. And, and then uh, I got... Hit like, hit to subscribe to this. Now that I'm not on a network anymore, I got to build up my channel. And then also for my uh, comedy stuff, uh, Ray D E V I, YouTube.com, Ray D V I, Instagram, Ray dot DeVito. And um, all right. And what else you guys want? Anything I, else you want to plug? There might be, I don't know if Two Tired Twats is still up. I don't know if Carrie took it down or not, but you can look for Two Tired Twats. <laughs> and it might be under the name Chick Chat because I think on YouTube they wouldn't let us call it Two Tired Twats. 
So it might be called Chick Chat, but we we had like, I don't know, 100 podcasts, <laughs> but I don't even know if they're still around. We're, we're, we're not still doing it. So they're old podcasts. But if you want to listen to old podcasts from Two Tired Twats, me and Carrie Caravis, you know, it's out there somewhere. But anyway. You used to film that at the comic strip. Yes. Yep. And I, uh, um, I know Kevin Brunden was a big fan of it. Yeah, he used to come on the show sometimes and be cranky. And <laughs> he's the not one cranky. He's never <laughs> cranky. You're thinking of a different Kevin Brennan. It's not he's Kevin the one. Brennan. He's the one who changed our name from from uh, Chick Chat to Two Tired Twats. Yeah, Two Tired Twats is a better title. It's better. He said, "Why do you think you're chicks?" He goes, "Look at both of you." He goes, <laughs> it's, been, "It's been decades since you're chicks." He goes, "You're just like two tired twats." And we started laughing and he goes, actually, that should be your name. And of course, Carrie definitely wanted to do it. And I'm like, I don't think so, because how do we promote it? We can't, you know, like I was doing Ladies of Laughter a lot back then. You know, you can't say at a show, oh, you know, these are all like theater shows, two tired twats. You can't say that when you're on stage, you know. So, but anyway, uh we went with two tired twats because yeah. Carrie's stronger than me and she can be. And then you that. immediately quit. <laughs> she quit. I would have stayed with it, but she had kids and she was like, we don't make any money. Do you make money doing this? Right. Um, I'm not killing it, but, um, it helps it's enough. It's we needed. lost money. <laughs> we lost money. Let's put it that way. It, it's, it's, it's what I did it for. I did this for three years before I made any money. That, so I right. lost money. And if you stick with it, uh, right. they the fans become tired twats and start following <laughs> you and start paying attention to what you're doing. So, yeah, you just stick with it. Great show. Have a good day, ladies. That's from George. Thank you, the, George. The last super chat, John's Black Liver. Hope you all have <laughs> having a great day. Good to see Patty and Kate again. Even Ray. Good to see uh, you. Just kidding. I'm a Ray fan. Good luck with the podcast, Kate. Yeah, check it all out. All right. I love all you guys. You have nicer, you have nice people on yours, unless you're yes. just editing out the mean shit. Maybe he's editing. No, they're, out they're nice. They they are nice. Like they come to my shows and stuff. They're actually nice people. Oh, nice. I'm like That's one of the only people in the Dabbleverse that still does <laughs> comedy. In this whole Dabbleverse, I had two number one specials this year. One on Amazon and iTunes, and the other one on Drive Bar, which no really? one else was, yeah. yeah. Wait, no you're number you were number one on Dry Bar? Yeah, for three weeks. Three weeks. That's fucking incredible. That's yeah, it put no money into my pocket. It's I got to watch it. And wait, what was the other thing you were on? Forty and Simple is my dry bar special and a Life Without Balconies, which I shot at, uh, I shot it at Grove 34. And it's on Aaron Berg's label on Cansible Records. Another reason why Gino doesn't like me, because I'm on Aaron Berg's label. Oh, you're friends yeah. with the, I didn't know he had a label. Yeah, I know those two broke uh -huh. up. So, yeah. Um, wait, I mean, okay, I know we're we're uh, closing up. How do you write clean jokes? You just do. You're funny. You can do it. I we just like every time I think of a joke, it's like there's something in it that's like even if it's not dirty, it's like politically incorrect. You know what I mean? It's not like something I, I try. I can leave the fucks out. I can leave the shits out. But it's and those kind of things. But I don't know. It's always got. You're a welcome little... to do this. Two jokes you wrote that you think you would like them to be cleaner. Uh, message them to me, and I will try to. Sh I, I don't know. Like uh, show up. you like, like yeah, we can clean it up to like be like yeah. You could do a dry bar special. I can give you that guy's information. You're doing nothing but making them money. Like you'd be an asset to them, not the other way. Yeah. Around. Okay. Uh, I mean, they'll be an asset for you too, but I mean, you'll be an asset to them. But all right, I'm going to let you guys go. All but, right. Thank you. Kate, thank, good you, to see you. thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. I'll see you Thanks, Very uh, fun. Thank you for bye -bye. having me on, Ray. It's been a pleasure. Peace, everybody.